Entitled aunt tried to break into my house and steal my money when I'm still outside of the country. My aunt needed money for college. I could have helped her but chose not to because she already got help from my dad and uncle in the past, didn't finish college, and didn't pay them back like she said she would. I told her I was not going to help her, then cut contact with all the relatives who attacked me on the family group chat, and things have been alright ever since. So I decided to go on my vacation two weeks ago, because I finished the project I was working on in late May instead of July, like we thought we would. So I started to plan the vacation, who is going to look after my house? I chose my 19 brother because he can live in my home free of charge, as long as he takes care of the place, and I trust him. Now to what happened when I was in Germany, I got a WhatsApp call from my brother about how when he was away to get food, he found our aunt's car next to the house, and when he went to check he found that she broke the door and was looking through my staff to most likely to find something of valuable to steal, and she most likely didn't know my brother is temporarily lived there and thought my house is empty. He called her out and said if she didn't get out, he would call the police and dad, he didn't want to handle the cops by himself, to try and threaten her. She refused and said that I owed her, because now she has to take loans to continue college, and she believed that I should help pay her loans because I didn't help her back in January. He ended up calling the cops and messaging our dad, and when she realized, she went to her car and drove off. When the cops and dad came, he told them what happened, and showed the camera footage, which shows how she broke the door, went through my staff, and wrecked the place. The cops took a copy of the footage, and told my dad that they would handle the rest, and keep in contact with him when they finished with her. He told me they caught her later in the night in her friend's apartment, and they were going to charge her with breaking and damaging my property, my TV, PS5, part of my games collecting, my gaming PC, and some stuff I don't care about as much as them. So now she is in jail, and has a court hearing, and I need to be in the trial. Luckily, my dad's lawyer managed to only need me to be through Zoom, instead of coming back to my country for the trial as long as my dad will be there to represent me as well. Well, I feel like shit on my vacation even though it has been a week. I didn't know my aunt was capable of doing something like that, and some of the games she damaged are old favorites of mine. Pokemon Coliseum and Platinum, SMT, Digital Devil Saga, and Nocturne, Persona 3, FS, Resident Evil 4, and more. Now I hope that when I get to France there won't be any more bad news and I can enjoy the rest of my vacation. At this point, I just hope the train ride will be nice. Edit. Hey guys, sorry for not responding. I had a train to phrase three hours after uploading the post and immediately went to sleep after getting going to the hotel. Thanks for all the support in the comments. Now about what I'm going to do. I will press charges against her for all the staff she damages she did to my staff. I'm not going to go easy on her for what she did, and if anyone in my family will be against me, they can go fuck themselves. Tomorrow, I will have a Zoom call with the lawyer to see if I can get her to pay for the market rate of all the games she destroyed because most of them are GameCube DS or PS 2 slash 3 games. So they're hard to get now, and you can't even get them in my country. And because most of them were in good condition, I believe it will be easy to force her to pay for new, or at least two used at best. The trail is on the 12th of September, so I will update at least a day later about how it went. Now I'm going to enjoy my time in Frace and have the time of my life here before the trail. Update. On August 26th, my aunt broke into my house and damaged my property because I didn't help her and was arrested after that, and there was a trial. The trial was yesterday. Hey guys, it has been a nice two weeks and my time in Paris was great. So let's get to what happened in the trial. The trial was longer than I thought it would be. We were there for an hour and a half. In the trial, her lawyer said to her defense my aunt had a manic episode because of her not doing well in classes to the point she had to retake two classes in the summer, and if she didn't take them, she would have to repeat her first year, and also because she was a recovering drug addict, something I didn't know. She chose to use weed with her friend group, and that when the idea to robe me came and she did it. As you can see, the defense wasn't good. I mean only became legal for medical purposes recently. I mean even her lawyer looked like she didn't have enough to work with and the judge didn't look happy with this. As some of you suggested, I told my lawyer that the staff she destroyed, like my computer and games, were important stuff to me, and that I lost the data from the games that I accumulated in almost 20 years. Not true BTW, I have everything save up as ROMs on my SD card in my room. I just didn't tell that to anyone. Thank God I did this. And he believes that she should also reimburse me for this staff, for market value. As long as the other staff, like my door, 
fence furnishers, and more staff. I did my best to look sad when I was questioned about the whole thing, unlike my aunt who looked like she was faking it. After all of this, the judge came with her sentence. She has to serve three years in jail, not because of breaking into my house, but because there was illegal weed in her car, but can get released early if she acts well in jail. She now owes me eight, two hundred dollar for all the damage she caused, the amount of money for all the staff she destroyed, as well as the games, they took almost two K dollar by themselves. Lucky, she can pay with her car, and some of her expensive stuff I didn't know she had according to my dad, so I'll get the money eventually. Well, now she is in jail, and I'm sure that some of my family, the younger one who liked her or the older course I don't know, it seems that my close family are full with me after relies upon how bad she was, will hate my guts with some of the messages I got in the past three weeks, calling me selfish, an entitled prick, a backstabber, a smock and more staff that are way worse than that. Well, this is probably the last of this whole entitled aunt staff, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation. Tomorrow I will go to London and have fun there. BTW, if you ever see this somehow, Meseret, hope your time in jail was fun, and go fuck yourself for all you did. I also hope you changed as a person in the last years, but I will never speak to you again. Story 2 My entitled sister expects me to apologize for snitching on her after she tried to out me to our parents. So me M17 and my sister F14 have never gotten along, not because she is only my half-sister, but because she is an immature and spoiled bitch. For some context like three days ago, I told my sister she should stop dating her boyfriend because he is too old for her. She did not take my lecture kindly, and she did the only thing her immature ass could think of. She decided to tell mom and my stepdad that I am gay. She found out that I am gay a few months ago after she burst into my room, when me and my BF were making out and she's been threatening me, that she will tell our parents ever since the thing is they already knew. But I never told her to give her a fake sense of superiority, and ever since she thought she had me at her finger. Well, it seems like my sister finally decided to reveal my secret. So what? She thought was about to be a session of my parents yelling at me, or Smith turned into an intervention on her insensitive behavior, as our parents put it. She bitched about how Jay was the bad guy because I was blackmailing her. But I wasn't about to let her get away with trying to ruin my relationship with my parents, so I did the only reasonable thing I told them about her boyfriend, which mind you is 17 turning 18 in not even two months. Meanwhile, she just turned 14 in June so you can imagine how angry our parents were when they found out that she was dating a guy over four year older than her. At first they scolded me for not telling them earlier and helping my sister cover this up. At the end we both got our punishments. Mine was a 20, 30 minute lecture for not telling them right away and she got her, her phone and laptop taken away. Dad cut the Wi-Fi on her TV which, and she isn't allowed to go out, all of these restraints will stay until the end of this summer. Which, honestly it's not that much if you ask me. The day after I met with my sister in my room telling me that, she deserves an apology because you fucking faggot ruined the rest of my summer and all my plans. I told my parents what she said and the punishment was extended till October. So Reddit does my wanker of a sister deserve an apology? Okay, so quick update. I've talked to my parents and my sister has an appointment on the 17th to get her tested for STD and stuff. Update. I'd like to start off by apologizing for the late update. It's just that a lot of stuff happened and I forgot to update y'all. First of all, after a shit ton of appointments over the course of a few weeks, we found out that thankfully my sister didn't get nothing from that dirtbag as they haven't done anything. My sister's punishment was as expected cut short. My parents tried to get a hold of the guy's parents, which they managed just to find out the parents didn't see anything wrong with the fact that their almost 18-year-old my son was dating a girl that barely turned 14. My sister still hasn't forgiven me, and I doubt she will anytime soon, not that I care about what she thinks about me. My parents have installed a tracking app in her phone, which to my displeasure they informed her about, if there is anything to update you all about I will. 